Good morning. I look like a five-year-old. I just wanted my hair out of my face last night, so I put it in braids without French braiding, and I actually look like a little girl, so that's cool. I'm in a good mood this morning because the sun is shining. What is this smoke? Someone's smoking outside. Love that. <laughs> Beautiful morning. I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I have to hang dry, hang up my clothes. Sorry. <laughs> I have to hang up my clothes that are in the washer to dry, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna do that and I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I made some matcha this morning, ice today. I love to put it in a cute little cup, but it is so annoying dealing with the condensation from the cup because first world problems. I have noticed that I don't like have the after caffeine crash when I have matcha, but when I have coffee, I do definitely have a crash. I'll probably be back on the coffee game at some point. Right now I'm loving matcha though. I also have some oats soaking in the fridge. I forgot to make overnight oats last night. So I have some oats soaking in the fridge for breakfast and I'll go on my walk and listen to a podcast. It sounds lovely. I love spring. And when the sun shines through the blinds into the apartment and like leaves <laughs> like those lines, I don't know if that makes sense, but that makes me so happy. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like a Trader Joe's or Whole Foods type of day. I will not elaborate. It's one of those days. Excuse my washer. It's so loud because it's basically in my kitchen. But my oats have soaked. And you know what? I'm getting bored of apple topping. I'm going to have to find another topping when I go to the store today. But I'm also going to take my prenatal and my antibiotic that I have to take. I will talk about that. In my 24 weeks update, which should be going up soon, maybe before this. So maybe you already know, but I love destroying my digestion. I forgot my camera, so I'm filming this on my phone, but I am going to go to the grocery store. Surprise, surprise. I always film on Wednesdays because it's like my guaranteed day off and that's what, so that's when I get everything done. I, I grocery shop, I clean my house, blah, blah, blah. I will do a before shot of my fridge right now. It's so bare. <laughs> I haven't seen it this bare in a long time. It's kind of funny. I'm back. I had to pose for a thumbnail. I got some fun snacks because it's survival night. Um, we love Survivor in this house. Some honey Dijon chips. Shane requested a Sprite for his drink, so he got a Sprite. And I got myself an Olipop. Strawberry vanilla is my favorite flavor. I also like the root beer and um, Coke flavor. Got stuff to make pizza. I think tonight I'm gonna make myself this like no queso mac and cheese that I saw Chelsea Curtis make. I feel like nobody knows who I'm talking about, but it's from the China Study Cookbook. I'm making crunch wraps this week, some minestrone soup, some tacos, and pesto pasta. I also got myself this movie theater butter popcorn oil because since we don't have a microwave, because we don't have room for a microwave, I make my popcorn on... Oh, this has milk in it? What the freak? Whatever. I make my popcorn on the stove, and I have tried using like olive oil and or coconut oil to make it a little bit healthier, but it's just not as good, you know? And I love popcorn, so that makes it taste better. <laughs> So $40 at Kroger and $35 at Aldi. $60, $70 a week is pretty typical for us. It was on the higher end this week because I did get fun survivor snacks. We're also having buffalo chicken wraps and I got impossible chicken nuggets to have make the, the wraps. These are really good. I also want to try the Gardein like ultimate chicken strips, but I, we've had these before and we know they're good. So I just wanted to get these. I think that this vlog is gonna continue in tomorrow, into tomorrow because tomorrow I'm taking my glucose test. So I thought that might be fun to film me drinking in the drink. Never have I ever seen Hawaiian bagels. Look, 
I got these for you. I thought you might like these for breakfast or snack. They're Hawaiian bagels. Never seen those before. They look young. Alrighty, we went on a little excursion. We went and got cookies. So we were gonna try crumble cookies, but because we just got one near us, but someone told us about Cookieologist, which is like a local business. Um, look at this cute little sticker that he has. And he literally wrote, building a cookie empire one batch at a time. Very sweet, very cute. We couldn't like find it at first. Couldn't figure out where to enter. He literally just like, sells cookies out of a window in a building behind a bakery. But he's really nice and I think it's just this one guy that does it all on his own. He has like a new menu every week, I think, like Crumble does. And he also makes some vegan and gluten free, which Crumble does not do. If you live near Dayton or you come to Dayton, definitely try Cookieologist. It's in the, it's like on UD campus. Um, Shane ate his already. It comes with, when you order a cookie, it comes with three. Um, and he got s'mores. I'll insert a picture. It was pretty good. I tried a bite of it. And I got, this one's called Blue Dream. It's so good. It tastes like a blueberry muffin, but it has white chocolate chips. It's like really soft and fluffy, like a muffin. Mmm, it's so freaking good. So I've had one, Shane has had three, they're that good. And now I'm making the no queso mac and cheese. And then we'll watch Survivor and have our snacks. Okay, it's the next morning. I just woke up and I am gonna take my glucose drink this morning. The nurse told me that I could just drink it and then show up at the blood lab like 40 to 45 minutes later. But they also said I could eat like strictly protein basically before if like it makes me sick to be on an empty stomach, which I will be sick if I don't eat something. So I'm hard boiling some eggs. But I'm gonna eat a couple hard boiled eggs and then drink that and then take a shower and go get my blood drawn. Love that for me. These hard boiled eggs are still warm. Not in my life have I eaten a hard, warm hard boiled egg. And I also need to take my antibiotic this morning. Yeah, I already feel so sick from not having food in my stomach. I'm about to drink this. I got the lemon lime, lemon lime flavor. I already opened it to smell it. It just smells like sugar. I have to drink it within five minutes. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 9.37 a.m. Me trying to do the math of what 45 minutes is. So the clinic is like eight minutes down the road from me. What is 45 minutes? Okay, 15 plus seven, 22. 45 minutes from 9.30 is 10.15. Plus seven minutes, yeah, 10.22. So I have to be at the clinic at 10.22. Well, 10.23 now. Ew. Ew, it tastes like just sugar water. It's like, with like a LaCroix type of scent of lemon, like barely any. <laughs> oh, it tastes like syrup. Like it has a texture of syrup. I don't like it. <laughs> It makes me cringe like when I'm drinking alcohol. I was gonna film on my way to the lab, but I was <laughs> a little bit late and I had to scooch real quick to get there on time. But I made it and I should get the results pretty soon, she said. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll know. Mm, I just hope I pass. <laughs>
I don't want to have to take the three hour test. So I hope this goes well. I'm glad they told me I could eat eggs or like protein before drinking the drink because I would have thrown up. Like when you're pregnant and your stomach is empty, it's the most nauseous, gross feeling. So I'm glad I could eat a little bit of something. I'm gonna eat a real meal now. And then I kind of want to go out and do something. It's really nice. I'm loving the spring weather. I also need to clean my house. I need to put that laundry away. Story of my life. And they also only needed two vials of blood from me this time. The first time I went, because they needed to do so many tests, they took like seven or eight vials of blood and it, it was like my hand was numb at the end. I was like, this is the worst. But this nurse did it really fast. It took like maybe 20 seconds. Time for my matcha and oatmeal. I was gonna go out and do something, but I've been having the worst like IBS type pains pretty much since I ate breakfast, like after I got back. And I just don't feel well, like it hurts. So basically I'm just gonna lay here until it gets better. My stomach hasn't had this kind of pain in a long time. It's definitely because of the glucose drink, because nothing else changed. There's my update. Um, something just happened. We submitted a maintenance request for our oven because it was like not kicking our food, so I didn't think it was coming to temperature all the way. I'm gonna put my hair back up actually. Um, so we submitted the maintenance request and the guy came and he was like, oh, your bottom burner in your oven is not working. So he went outside to make a call and he was like, we're getting you a new oven. And I was like, cool, that oven was so old so janky and i got a new oven i feel like you've probably seen my old one look it's so fancy and nice i'm going out to dinner and i'm not really that hungry um so i might just get like a few small things with the appetizer list but i have to put all of my pans away and then i need to leave because i was supposed to meet my dad for dinner at 3 45 and now it's 4 7. so i have not left yet obviously i need to go I just want to update that because I'm really excited. Someone please tell me what to do with my hair. I'm so sick of it. I've been sick of it for such a long time because I always just throw it back in a ponytail or a bun or I braid it or I put it in a clip because I think it's so ugly. <laughs> I'm like, I just don't know what to do about it. It's like such a unique texture because it's curly but it's also like not very dry and it's kind of fine. It loses its curl very quickly and then it just looks ugly. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hair. Anyway, I went to Tropical Smoothie Cafe because I saw someone on TikTok get a Bahama Mama and she said you can get it with, without the added sugar and it's still good because I know Tropical Smoothie puts sugar in their smoothies and it's like pretty good, I think. If I really wanted something fruity and sweet, and I was